proposal before Baltimore's Board of Estimates was a plan to issue $148 million in bonds to help finance the infrastructure for the Port Covington project in South Baltimore. The brainchild of Under Armour founder Kevin Plank, the project envisioned a huge mixed-use development along I-95 in South Baltimore. But that was four years ago. Critics say the pandemic and the recession combined to cast doubt on the project's future. So much has changed about our economy, about our society, about the financial viability of the Port Covington deal that we believe it would amount to malpractice for the body not to move, for this body to move forward with the approval. The time for magical thinking about unrealistic job projections, revenue estimates, shiny headquarters, distilleries, architectural peers is over. But a Cherry Hill community leader told the board the city should move ahead. We in our community need this bill. Uh, we have been um, looking forward to funds coming from this Port Covington development. Under Armour's presence remains a key component of the project, but recognizing the company's current financial struggles due to the impact of the pandemic, the city's top development official said the project can go forward without an Under Armour headquarters on site. We believe that companies are going to be excited to move to Port Covington and move to Baltimore City, um, regardless of whether Under Armour's uh, full campus is built out. The board approved the sale of the bonds, which will be repaid with tax revenue the project generates. Council President Brandon Scott and nominee for mayor voted no, citing too little transparency. Moving forward, I am going to hold everyone accountable to every dollar, every agreement, everything that we say is going to happen in this project because Baltimore can't afford to have it fail and that we have to Back in 2016, as a city council member, Brandon Scott voted in favor of selling the, uh, the, the, it's really $660 million in bonds, but voted in favor of this package when it was back in front of the city council back in 2016. As I said, this is the first batch of these bonds. The city council approved $660 million uh, ultimately, but this is the first batch at $148 million. Reporting live tonight from, from South Baltimore at Port Covington, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.